Hey everybody, Professor Klein back here in the Human Anatomy Labs at Ohio University and today I want to tell you three of my top three anatomy jokes before we dive into the humorous bone. So let me know in the comments if these are funny or not funny at all, but here's number one. Where did hippos go to college? A hippocampus. Number two. Do you know what makes me smile? Cranial nerve number seven, the facial nerve. And lastly, I hope you found these humorous. That is what we're talking about today. So let me bring in this guy here. Did not get a, a big reaction from this guy with my jokes, but he does have a humerus. And this is where the humerus is on the human body. And if I pop it off, you can see a full humerus right here. What's going on is the humerus is your, your arm bone, right? We kind of think of shoulder to elbow as your arm. Technical name for that area is the brachium. But the brachium, the arm area, has the humerus bone. And this bone articulates with the scapula. So forming the glenohumeral joint right here, aka the shoulder joint. And if you want to watch a video on all the joints of the body, I went through all of them in this video up here. Check that out for all the joints of the body. But the humerus is just the glenohumeral humor joint and the humerus is going to articulate with the radius and the ulna right here. So we call that the elbow joint, but we'll look at it in a little bit more detail, specifically what joints are formed here. So let's dive in to some bony landmarks of the humerus. All right, we're looking at the humerus here, and I actually got two humeruses, humor, humeri, two humeruses here, and uh, I want you to sh see the difference between a right and a left humerus. And these are both an anterior view, but we got the right and the left here. And what I want you to see right away is that there's symmetry between each side but certain things only protrude let's say more medially for example we got a very prominent bony landmark right here called the medial epicondyle this bump that is always going to be more medial is called the medial epicondyle and actually you can feel that right here if you feel the inside of your elbow go ahead and do that wherever you're at you'll feel a big bump. And if you ever hit that bump on a table, you'll definitely feel that bump. That's your medial epicondyle, this one right here. But go ahead and feel the outside of the lateral part of your elbow. Don't really feel a bump, right? That's because the lateral epicondyle, which can be seen right here, is this kind of bump real small on the outside it's much smaller. So we got the lateral epicondyle here, medial epicondyle in here. You can feel this one. Can't really feel this one through your skin. So that's one of the first things to note. And how do you know that's medial? Well, bigger bump means medial epicondyle. But also if we come up here, we can see the head of the humerus points medially. So the body the body would be in between here, and both heads are pointing medially. If we got a head, we definitely have a neck, and that's true with this here. Notice where the probe is, and I'm gonna kinda outline this neck. This is called the anatomical neck of the humerus. There's an anatomical neck, and then down here where the probe is would be the surgical neck. So with anatomical, it does go all the way around. 
So if I flipped it this side, you can see that anatomical neck. See that little rim there coming, whoops, coming through. Would be the anatomical neck all the way around. Let me keep going with it. Back to an anterior view. Additionally, there's a couple bumps. And what you'll notice is there's a bump right here. And I'm going to put a colored piece of paper underneath so you guys can see this little bit better see this bump right here and I'll take it to the side and focus it for you this bump is called the lesser tubercle there it is you guys see that lesser tubercle that is contrasting the other big bump here called the greater tubercle so we got a lesser tubercle and a greater tubercle, two very prominent bony landmarks on the humerus. And a lot of muscles are going to attach to those bony landmarks. Furthermore, in between the bumps, in between the bumps, there's this groove or sulcus. You guys see how the probe kind of wedges in between those two bumps? Well, this is called the bicipital groove. Or you could also call it the intertubicular groove or sulcus. So a couple of different names for the same thing. And we're going to have some tendons that run through there. Now, as you come down, they're going to follow down. And they're all going to merge on this bump on the outside. I'm trying to get the best angle for it. You can kind of see it right here. You can kind of see it over here. It's lateral and it's called that deltoid tuberosity. I'll put a picture on the screen to see a little bit better, but it's called the deltoid tuberosity. As we keep going down, let's knock these out. Already mentioned medial epicondyle. Already mentioned lateral epicondyle. Well, how about this circular thing? This is called the capitulum. It's just this ball shaped thing right here. And that's different from this entire trough area over here. You guys see this trough area? This is called the trochlea. And I say trough because it kind of dips in, dips up. I'll give you this kind of view down here. Let me get the focus going. This is the trochlea. This is the capitulum. Now, if we switch it, over flip it over now we got a posterior side going medial epicondyle trochlea and then capitulum down here so what that means is the trochlea doesn't matter if you're posterior or anterior is always going to be medial because it's next to that big bump right here what's this indent called well it's called the olecranon fossa, olecranon or olecranon fossa. And that's where the ulna bone, which has this bony landmark, it's got a little bit of green. Let me scoot this guy a little bit closer for you. There we go. This ulna, which has a little bit of green clay on it there, that's gonna fit into the olecranon fossa over top of See this, the trochlea. So this ulna is going right over top and watch this here, it will fit right into there. So we call this the humoral ulnar joint when it's the humerus and the ulna. But take a look here. Take a look at the, we got a little dislocation going on here. Let me get them back to the, the normal spot here. Here we go. Take a look at the humerus and the radius. This other bone that has this more circular head to it. That's going to form another joint called the humoral radial joint. Humoral radial. The other one was humoral ulnar. Named after the two different bones that connect. There's one more joint at the elbow, right? The elbow is what we call this whole area, 
but there's three different joints. I've named two of them. Here's the last one. See how the ulna and the radius touch? That's called the proximal radial ulnar joint. Proximal radial ulnar joint. So three joints at the elbow. All right, that's it for this video on the humerus. But I do have one more joke for you. The joke is, hopefully you didn't find my jokes earlier. Cornea. Again, like, subscribe if you found these funny. Comment below, let me know, and I'll keep bringing you some more anatomy jokes. But I'm Professor Klein in the Human Anatomy Lab at Ohio University. Thanks for watching.